hello everyone in this video we are going to see um, about how to reuse the plugin catchy uh, which is downloaded from terraform so uh, i will tell you how you can use there are different methods available in market but um, so we have tried with this method so which i am going to tell you how we can use this so let's get started with this video. Um, so first of all, so we are going to see how we can reuse the plugin, uh, which is downloaded with the Terraform. It can be any provider like AWS, Azure, GCP, or any kind of provider, but you can reuse without downloading again and again. So it will help you to uh, reduce your uh, cost of uh, storage so you can speed up your pipelines as well as your uh, work workflow so let's see how we can do this so uh, there are some prerequests for this uh, so first we have to uh, create these two hidden uh, things so first uh, for in step one you have to create a um, dot terraform rc file and uh, in step two you have to create a directory uh, so which we will see uh, it is for user to store your plugins whatever you downloaded that will be stored in this particular directory so uh, plugin catchy directory creation so it is for as i said earlier you are going to download uh, plugins uh, you are whatever you are mentioning those plugins it will be download so that one we are going to store in this path so you have to create your home path under that uh, dot terraform or c dot um, terraform dot d slash plugin catchy this directory you have to create and you have to disable your checkpoint and uh, next you have to create dot terraform rc file so you can uh, go with this uh, script whatever i mentioned uh, but uh, the path is equal to i mentioned user slash um, so these details you have to mention as per your home directory whatever you are going to work on so uh, this will include and exclude options will be there so based on that uh, you can uh, go with this whatever base based on your usage you can go with include and exclude option so here i tried uh, for uh, this only with the file system mirror method so let's see what are the methods are available in um, for this usage so i will you can see in this website uh, i will share you the link in the under the video description you can see here uh, you have to create this dot uh, terraform rc uh, for mac os um, so i'm saying for mac os uh, you can go through with us a documentation if you are going for uh, any other os you have to go with the consent procedure but it will work for Linux as well as Mac, what I'm saying. So I'm picking from uh, these things in this website only. So here uh, there are a few methods, which is one of the method is uh, file system uh, mirror method. So which I'm going to try on that. So I already created uh, those directories. Let's see. Let's make a little bigger. So you can see here, I have already created dot terraform dot D and uh, dot terraform RC, which I given as a different name. So it won't work right now. I will show you the demo and then uh, we will, uh, I will show you the demo with uh, as per the documentation. So you can see dot terraform dot D so dot terraform dot d inside this you can see uh, this is a plugin catchy directory you have to do as per the documentation uh, just to go through the documentation once 
here i am going to store the plugin which got downloaded already so you can see here registry and uh, so here i have uh, multiple plugins versions which i have already downloaded i manually downloaded this these plugins and i copied to this uh, hidden directory so this is what i done already hope you are you are clear with the dot terraform dot d file and uh, let's show you for dot um, terraform rc what i have mentioned so i am going to using cat command i am going to show you so you can see here um, so this this uh, details also i will paste in the description you can use it from there um, so I, I already downloaded my plugin uh, so whatever i downloaded i just copy to this path users uh, under my name and uh, terraform.d plugin catchy so this uh, directory i have uh, just to copy pasted my plugins this is one of the method which i tried you can go for any other method as per the documentations uh, so coming to this uh, this is the uh, things i have already shown and uh, let's see uh, with the demo um, so here um, I'm not going to reuse this plugin catchy. I will show you normal method what we will do. So usually we have a provider details and uh, resource details, right? So here I have some provider details. So this is provider, so which is enough. Um, so when I when I give Terraform in it, it will uh, downloading from the website. You can see here it is taking more time to download from the website basically. But uh, when we go for uh, our uh, provider catchy method, it will reuse from your local laptop or your local server where you are storing those things. So that is what we are going to show you. So right now it is uh, uh, getting downloaded from the website. So that's, that's why it is taking uh, much more time. Once it is completed, I will uh, I will move to this uh, plugins to the trash and uh, I will rename uh, the things and I will show you um, so how it is getting downloading from our local directory. Okay, so you can see here uh, it's uh, already downloaded our uh, plugins from uh, the HashiCorp uh, from Terraform registry HashiCorp. Uh, AWS 5.17 which is latest one right uh, we have so it is downloaded so right now I'm going to uh, remove this so that we can go for our demo so I just removed the um, log file and then I'm removing the uh, this trace file so it's So you can see here uh, right now I don't have any plugin catchy or a plugin uh, which which got downloaded. Um, I will clear the screen. So right now I'm going to change the name of the file. So which is going to change the game. So ls la You can see here uh, there is a name. The name should be dot terraform rc. There should not be any other name. I'm just changing the name Terraform RC rename and uh, Terraform RC, which I am changing as Terraform RC. I cleared the screen. Then you can see here uh, dot Terraform RC. So inside this we have uh, we have written the script here. Um, so which I'm using file system mirror method. So right now I'm going to initiate the um, things again. So you can see here Terraform in it. So you can see here how much fast it is downloaded. And uh, you can also see uh, due to your custom provider installation method, Terraform was forced to calculate lag file 
and uh, it has used your local uh, which you have mentioned your uh, plugin details where it is so there it is downloading from directly checksums uh, locally following the providers so this is what happening um so uh, like this you can uh, reuse the provider again and again for your different projects um so it will uh, uh it will reduce your uh, downloading files which you are uh, getting to store somewhere and it will it will give uh more it will give more space and you can reduce some somehow cost and you can increase the pipeline speed so um so if you like this video uh give thumbs up um subscribe my channel um and follow for more videos uh thanks for watching have a great day